Howdy, Possum Patty here, and it's April 4th, and I'm Nature Journaling. But first, I've got mail. I'm going to open this up because I get a lot of questions on what journal that I'm using when I Nature Journal. So, I'm almost to the end of this one. If you journal every day, you use a lot of journals. So I'm going to open this and show you the journal that I use. And it is a Strathmore 500 series mixed media journal. 64 pages, it's 90 pounds, 7.75 inches by 9.75 inches. And I love this paper because it can take wet media, and I like to put a little watercolor on my pictures. If you work it a little bit, it lies flat. When it's new, it's a little bit harder. But you can get it after a while to go flat. Nice thick paper. Soft cover, velvety. And I love this. I think this is probably number 12 or 13 of my journals that I have. I have other kinds of journals too, but I keep coming back to this one all the time. So back to nature journaling for today. It's in the 50s. The skies are clearing, even though it was a gray morning. Very light breeze out there today. And what I did was a quick little mapping adventure from Pioneer Rock. This is going to be mapping without a compass. I'm going to use this old stone wall as a reference point today. So here's the black pot where I put flowers and it's sitting on the stump of an old oak tree that had to come down because it was dead, dead, dead. And you can see all the polypores growing on that and lots of lichen and more crusty fungus up there and if you come around these old logs there's pioneer rock so my reference point is going to be Pioneer Rock and the old stone wall. So I'm using Pioneer Rock as my reference point. I quickly drew the old stone wall, not realistically, but just to note that these were the stones and that was the direction I was going in. Next to Pioneer Rock were some Canada Mayflowers in a spot where I found some tiny fern fiddleheads. Walking along the wall from Pioneer Rock, the first thing I saw buried in last year's dead leaves were some partridge berry plants. I found one, and there's some more, and then I found another, and then I looked over to the left and I saw a spot of red. Oh, I see a little bit of red. Well, I finally found some partridge berry with an actual berry on it. Yay! Put that down in the journal. A few years ago, I did a whole journal page on the partridge berry. I found them very interesting. Sometimes it's called the two-eyed berry. If you look closely at the berries, you will see two eyes. And this is because the twin flowers have ovaries that fuse. So instead of producing two berries, it produces one berry with two eyes. From the partridge berry, I kept walking along the wall. I came to some princess pines, and I have three 
Princess Pines, right by the. Base and when of I this looked over tree. to the left, I saw a little rock that had some really cool crusty lichen on it, and behind the rock were a few more Princess oh, Pines. There's a rock. Oh, this has got some cool lichen on it. I'll have to bring Zoomy out here. Two more little club moss. From there I looked over and saw a peg with a pink ribbon, but this is not one of mine. This is an actual surveyor's peg and a property marker. At the peg was a large rock covered with moss. And this marker is not one of mine. This is a surveyor's peg. But this mossy rock is really cool. This is different from the brocade or hypna moss. So I'll have to take a sample of that and bring it inside. Next to that rock were some brown scraggly things sticking up out of the ground. This is uh, last year's fern fronds that survived the winter. So I'll be looking in this area for some fiddleheads later on in the spring. And just across from Mossy Rock is this cool rock here with lots of different kinds of lichen on it. Got green lichen and black lichen. This is a really flat one. Crustose lichen. So I'm definitely going to have to bring Zoomy out to check out these rocks. Walking a little further, I spied another peg with a pink ribbon, but this was definitely one of mine, just a stick stuck in the ground. Now there's a stick with a pink flag that's mine. And it's marking some more club moss, but look at this. These are not princess pines. These are ground cedars. Really different from the princess pines. Oh look, they're on a runner. You can see it down there. Maybe this is the stem and these are the branches. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Very cool. The leaves are scale-like, like a cedar tree. And the large one had two whorls of branches. The princess pines have little needle-like leaves. But these are round and scaly-like. So this was a very fun day, just walking around and doing a little mapping from Pioneer Rock. Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.